Hey guys, my name is Shreyas and today we're going to be talking about ternary salts and ammonium salts and how we name them. What is a ternary salt or an ammonium salt? So that is a metal or ammonium, ammonium is NH4+, the polyatomic ion ammonium, plus a polyatomic ion. Uh, in order to name these, you're going to have to know your polyatomic ions. So if you have not memorized them by this point, I would recommend you go back and uh, there's a video, there's a lesson on polyatomic ions. I believe in the second unit, make sure you go and watch that lesson. Also, uh, make sure you watch the lesson on oxidation states because that's also going to be very important um, to understand when we do this. Okay, so the rules for naming a ternary salt or an ammonium salt is we name the metal, or if it's ammonium, we just say ammonium, and then we name the polyatomic ion, and then if our metal is a transition metal, which um, if, if our metal is not in these two columns right here, okay, if they're not in these two columns, then we're going to have to specify the oxidation state of that metal. Okay. If, it's, if the metal is not in these two columns, or I, I mentioned this in the previous video, same thing. If it's not in these two co columns, or if it's not silver, cadmium, zinc, or aluminum. Silver always has a plus one charge, zinc and cadmium always plus two, aluminum always plus three. If, they're not, if the metal is not one of those metals, then we're going to have to actually use Roman numerals to specify the oxidation state. Okay. And you should be good with this because if you did binary um, ionic compounds, then this should make um, sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at a few problems and actually work through them and name them. All right, so we have a metal, magnesium right here. Magnesium is a metal because it's on the left side of the zigzag line of the periodic table. So it is a metal. And we have a PO4, which is a polyatomic ion, PO4, 3 minus phosphate. So we have metal plus um, polyatomic ion ternary salt, all right? And magnesium is um, is in these, is one of those elements which always has, which has only one oxidation state, so we're not going to have to use a uh, Roman numeral. So, we, rules are, we name the metal, so magnesium, We're not going to have to use Roman numerals because magnesium is in the two columns. And uh, then we just name the polyatomic ion. Very easy. So magnesium phosphate. Easy. All right. Next one, we have another metal, tin. Tin is to the left side of the periodic table. It is a metal. Now, tin is not in these two columns right here. And it's not silver, cadmium, zinc. Or aluminum, so that means we're going to have to use our Roman numerals to assign the oxidation state. Okay, so we have tin, and then we have NO3 minus nitrate, which is a polyatomic ion. Metal plus polyatomic ion is a ternary salt. So again, back to our rules here. Name the uh, metal, tin, easy. All right. Oh my god. I didn't need her. In. And then we're going to have to find the oxidation state of um, this uh, tin right here because, again, it's not in these two rows. It's not in these two rows, and it's not one of these elements right here, silver, cadmium, zinc, and aluminum. So we have to use Roman numerals to identify um, the oxidation state. So let's go ahead and figure out the oxidation state of the tin here. So nitrate has a charge of minus one. Since there's four nitrates, there's a minus four charge here. That has to be balanced out with a plus four charge. There's only one tin, so plus four divided by one is equal to plus four. So the tin has a charge of plus four. So we're gonna have to write tin with a Roman numeral like this, tin four, to specify the oxidation state. And then we can go and name the polyatomic ion, and that polyatomic ion is nitrate. So we just write nitrate. Okay, and if this made no sense right here, you're going to go and have to watch the video on, um, and do the lesson on oxidation states. Okay, because I don't want to have to review that again, how we, what an oxidation state is and all those things. Okay, so that's this. Now let's go to the next one here. We have aluminum. Aluminum is a metal because it's to the left side of the um, zigzag line. And then we have a 
polyatomic ion, which is, this is sulfate, so metal plus polyatomic ion is a, uh, metal plus polyatomic ion is a ternary salt. Okay, so, um, you know, we'll go ahead and write the name of our metal, which is aluminum. Okay, right, name the metal. And we're not going to have to use our Roman numerals here because, again, it's one of the, for these two rows, silver, cadmium, zinc, and aluminum, we're not going to have to use Roman numerals for those. Any other metal we do. So since we're looking at aluminum here, we're not going to have to use our Roman numerals. So it's just aluminum. And then we write the name of the polyatomic ion sulfate, and then we're done with that. All right. Now, let's go ahead and work backwards. Uh, so we have the name, and now we're going to have to identify what the compound is. So we have sodium, and then we have sulfite. So sodium, and we have sodium, and we have sulfite. Now sodium has a plus one charge, and sulfite has a minus two charge. Okay, the sulfite polyatomic ion. So what we do is we just flip. So there's going to be two sodium atoms and just one sulfate, sulfite ion. So the formula for sodium sulfite is Na2SO3. Okay, just flip. The two goes here, one, you don't have to write a one. So yeah, sodium sulfite. Um, ammonium oxalate. So let's do that one. Ammonium is NH4 plus. I'm just not going to write the charge right now. I'm just going to write the uh, what it is, uh, NH4, and then oxalate is C2O4. Ammonium has a plus one charge. Oxalate has a minus two charge, so that means there has to be, you can just flip, so get the two right here, and then one right here, we don't have to obviously write a one, so NH4, two, C2O4 is ammonium oxalate. And final one, iron, uh, for phosphite, so iron and, sorry, iron, and again, we see that iron is not in these two rows, and it's not one of these elements, so that's why it has that Roman numeral. So iron and then phosphite, which is PO3, iron has a plus four charge because of this Roman numeral, phosphite has a minus three charge. So we again have to flip. So three goes here, and then four goes here. Okay, so Fe3, PO3, four. And that's it. Make sure you do the practice that is attached to this so you can master this concept. But that's basically everything you have to know about naming ternary salts and ammonium salts. So naming ternary salts and ammonium salts is as simple as that.